Okay, now in this episode, we are going to learn about how to retrieve one row of data from table using Hibernate. Or here in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the select query in Hibernate. Using select query in Hibernate means we are not using any query language in Hibernate. Instead of we are just working with the Pojo class objects. So how we can retrieve a one row of data from a table using Hibernate. So here is our table. Our table contains two rows of data. First one is with ID 121 and second one second row is start with ID 125. Okay. So in our data in session class for getting information from the database, I'm going to create another method here. So public void get info. So again, the same steps. First, we have to create an object of configuration and we have to configure the Hibernate XML Hibernate configuration file using the configuration object. So I copy all these steps up to session, up to session. We need objects of configuration, session factory and session. Open session. Okay. So for selecting data from database, there is no need of transaction object. So we need the configuration object, session factory object, and finally we need the session object. So select data from database means we have to get the saved objects from the database. And from that object, we have to get the properties of that object. Properties of that object means we can get the values from the table. Okay. so for receiving the value from the database we 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 know that in hibernate we always working with objects so here in this example we are going to uh, retrieve we are going to receive some data from the database so the data is in the form of objects collection of objects so for receiving the object we need an object we, we need an object of object class object is belong to java.lang file so I name the object as ob and using the session object session dot there is a method called lot method first you have to specify the pojo class name our pojo class name is data provider so data data provider with extension class okay second argument new integer new integer we have to here I'm going to going to plan get the second row of data so I, I want to receive this data with ID 125 so here pass 125 okay so we got an object corresponding to the second row in the table so that object has three properties first one is id second one is name and third one is address we can access the properties of that object from the getter method of our pojo class that means in this class so from that object you can get the data by calling the getter method like get get username get user id uh, get user address like like that okay so now we have to assign this object into an object of data provider so i'm going to create an object of data provider here data provider dp equal to ob so these are objects you need type casting here and cast to data provider okay now we can get the data by using the getter method of the data provider class so system dot out dot print ln name is 
so call the getter method of the data provider class in class using that object dp dot get user name okay the same way we have to access the address so address equal to address equal to get user address get user address okay one more bracket here okay now we can call that method in the public static void main so instead of insert data insert info I call the get info method get info method okay so now we can run the application so go to the data insertion dot java file right click that file and run as java application now go to the console okay now here we got the output name is rupesh rk name is rupesh rk and address is helipad okay guys this is how we receive data from hibernate uh, data from database using hibernate framework so in the next episode i will definitely solve this problem actually the build session factory is deprecated in the next episode i will definitely uh, give an alternative for this method